If you like really lean cuts of meat, then you should definitely give bison a try. It's a little bit sweeter, but tastes really similar to beef. I've got a nice little recipe with shallots and red wine. First thing we're gonna do is knock out some prep. Simply cut the ends off and peel a large shallot, and from there, slice it to your desired thickness. Lastly, to finish off the prep, remove some fresh thyme leaves from the sprigs and set aside. Now it's as simple as removing the bison from the packaging. We're gonna season it really nice with salt and pepper on each side, and then a cast iron skillet on medium high heat with a little bit of butter. We are gonna sear these bison strips on each side for in between four and five minutes. I want a beautiful medium rare and that's exactly what it's going to give me. Once the steaks are finished cooking, it's very important to set them aside to rest so all of the juices can soak back in. Now, add the sliced shallots back to the cast iron skillet on high heat and caramelize. While they're browning up, be sure to remove the cork from the Cabernet Sauvignon bottle of wine. When the shallots are nice and roasted up, we are then going to add in the red wine and cook it on medium heat until it's reduced by one half and becomes thick. Now that it's a nice consistency, we remove the pan from the heat and stir in some whole unsalted butter to give it a little body. Finish by stirring in the fresh thyme leaves and of course season it with kosher salt and fresh cracked black pepper. Time to slice up the bison and plate up. Serve this delicious bison up with a side of potatoes or vegetables, but it is just so easy to make and that onion red wine sauce on top is to die for. Get all these great ingredients and bison strip steaks from your favorite Heinen's grocery stores. Visit Heinen's.com. We've got a ton of great recipe videos there. I've got two huge steaks to eat. We'll see you next time.